Hey, Schwartz Force. Uh, how you doing? This is Watches with Wells. This is my friend Dave over here. Hey, do you know uh, it's a good day to wear a watch? <laughs> uh, not sure. <laughs> Not sure why I'm needed nope, anymore. Not at all. It's, it's like it's like this is a coup. You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's become your channel. Mm. <laughs> all right, hey guys. Yeah, as yep. well said. Yes, yep. it's watches with Wells. It is a damn good day to wear a watch. A damn good day to wear a watch. Um, in fact, okay, and we're gonna do another episode. The mm -hmm. journey. The journey is continued. The, the journey continues. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, actually. It's the last watch from Watch Gang, so it is. I guess we could say it's the final frontier. The final, ooh. ooh. Or a countdown. Mm. The final. Da, da, da. <laughs> we can only do like 10 seconds of that, and then yeah, it gets... Yeah, copyright, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy another beer. This yep. time, a new beer neither of us have had. Nope. Um, what do we got, Wells? We have a Shiner 1909 from the Spotswell Brewery in yeah. Shiner, Texas. This is uh, something new coming out of Shiner. Shiner always makes good beers. Um, I don't, there's really only like one or two that I've not yeah, liked. Almost, almost all hits. It's a smash lager for those of y'all who knows what that means. Yeah, it sounds like what it, earlier, uh, I think these are leftover ingredients. Yeah, these are. Uh, this was the last bit that was over in like three vats. They're like, yeah, smash it together and sell it. They'll be fine. You said uh, 2018? Yes. <laughs> Release it in two years. Sure. All right, so this okay, is looking got nice, pretty fresh. Nice golden color there. Let's yeah. see. Oh. Put you aside out the shop. Oh man, that uh, smells nice. Okay, hang on. Well, that tastes like bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good watch a baseball game type of beer. Oh. Pizza, yeah. pizza beer for sure. Pizza beer, pizza and pretzels. Like yes. that's a, that's a straight up like, hey, let yeah. me just straight beer it up. You know? Frat guys hit it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think. I bet you, you it. I bet you it uh, shotguns very well. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you get a chance, check it out. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but we are not here to talk beer the whole time. We're here to talk watches. Yeah. So wristwatch check. Wristwatch check. All right. So uh, today is the uh, the. Here, let me. I may here. have forgot to put it on. Uh, Right side up. <laughs> it's been upside down <laughs> over the... For like the last uh, 15 minutes, apparently. <laughs> He's not a watch guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to read time. <laughs> what, time what time is it? Uh... <laughs> Big hand on the 30? I don't know. <laughs> it's my GMT. <laughs> that, that makes it a little bit better. It's my Heritor yeah. uh, uh, Seiko kind of uh, homage. Yeah, there. with that Pepsi yeah. dial. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like you're getting a little bit of... Um, is that changing color? Or has it always been like that? I think it's always been like that. Okay, okay, because it looks a little. Maybe I was just expecting it to be darker. It could just be the lighting. It could be. It could be that. Uh, it could be that it's you know been used a little bit, so it doesn't have quite as lustrous a machine. There's a little mm. bit of a chipping going on with it now, mm. so we can see um, the. If you saw this in the the first uh, video, you know, just a couple months ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, so even good. since then, it's got you know. Hey man, just say uh, hey. Look, it's got a little bit of a wear and tear on it now. So it's, uh, in my opinion, that's going to happen. Yep. And it gives your watch. It is your watch. Um, if you want to keep them in pristine condition, I get that too. Right. It's just to each their own. Yeah. But I think it looks cool. I think a little... as long as you know flakes aren't just falling off, you know, and <laughs> you just, have uh, you have a leopard bezel. looking. Yeah. <laughs> That's where that's where I'll draw the line. Like yeah, you, you know, probably can't sell it for much at that point. Yeah, probably not. And this was most likely just a uh, me slamming my hand into the door or something yeah. like that. So yeah, you know, all those. I've actually that's a video I have coming up is things that will definitely scratch your watches oh, yeah. and you know how to avoid it. I tried to at some point, but hey, don't be a, don't be a clumsy ass and just <laughs> walk into yeah. stuff. <laughs> These aren't for you. I know. And I have on. Your watch, ah. but you may not have recognized it. Check it out. But guys. wait, <laughs> there, yeah, this is the Melbourne Lonsdale, and the reason it looks different is because I have it on a leather strap. So mm -hmm. I swapped this out. Your is that, bracelet, a, is that a, blue, a blue leather? No, this is black leather. Okay, um, but I put you know it's got the double deployment buckle, and at first I was like, you know, with this watch, I bet it looks good on leather. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say. I, I like the bracelet, but to me, the bracelet almost hides the effect mm -hmm. um, of this crosshatch pattern here. Oh, with the, I, the other bracelet? Yeah, with yeah. the bracelet that it came with. And I feel like- It was a very heavy duty bracelet. It was so, a yeah. nice bracelet, very well built, but mm -hmm. I felt, and I did my review on this. Uh, you guys can, you know, have probably seen it. If you haven't, check the link out up there and uh, go, go check it out in detail. But 
Uh, thanks for letting me borrow one of your watches. Yeah. And we did our watch swap. So this is the watch Wells decided to pick up the mm -hmm. Morriston. And I got to address something for you guys out there. We were talking about- By the by, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Comments were made about how Wells was going to make his picks yeah. and how I was like, no, 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 not that way. Uh, no, something no. else, please. No. Um, so that was a plan kind of like, hey, wouldn't it be that, funny? That was a bit. Yes. The third pick was always going to be the real pick. It was a ha ha moment. <laughs> and I but think we did we it are so very, well. We are very good actors. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a true just like, oh, that'd be a funny little bit. You know, like, we'll do that and, and move on. Not knowing that, you know, we would upset the internet. and. Um, <laughs> lesson learned. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, that was just kind of a joke we wanted to play. Uh, Wells obviously, yeah. you know, can have any of the watches. It would just we thought yeah. it'd be funny. Yeah. So my apologies for not making that <laughs> a, little more, a little more obvious. Um, and I was. Thinking, I'm not sorry that y'all are on my side. <laughs> <laughs> it made me look like the ass. So yes. yeah, there you go. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Um, but that kind of got me thinking because yeah. you guys don't really know our story. No. And I'm thinking for the next video. Comment down below. Let's do a Q&A. We're going to do a Q&A. Q &A. It's uh, watches and questions with Wells and, and Schwartz. Uh, questions that and answers. That flows off the tongue. Yes. <laughs> questions and answers with Wells. Yeah. Mm. A forum. <laughs> so make sure if you have questions for Wells or for myself, mm -hmm. put them down in the comments and we will answer yeah. them at the next episode. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think we should just answer right off the bat, because I know it's going to be a question. Yeah. How long have we known each other? How have we met? And you guys yeah. should know. This was my best man at my wedding. Well, so. We've we've met. <laughs> so We're aware guy. of of <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, we, what, we, second grade, second grade, I believe. Yeah, is where we actually met. Like we grew up right down the street from each other, and so there's some time. There's yeah. some like, our our <laughs> our humor rolls off like this, you know, kind of for a reason. Yeah, and yeah. that's why you know, hey, let's do a bit. Uh, make me look like the jerk and be like, oh no, sure. you know, like it, no, it was, no, we're yeah. good friends. Yeah. Oh, or not. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah. Hey, we should address that. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I can make this guy like, no, if you can't have it, <laughs> I got to get the better end of the deal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, right. no, 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 not that one. Not that one. <laughs> so. You know, we did a watch swap. Mm -hmm. Tell me, with your couple weeks with the Briston, what do you think? So I, um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I, uh, more than I thought I would. Yeah. Um, because uh, most of the watches are, you know, if you've seen the videos with these, most of my watches are some pretty heavy duty ones. Yeah. The one I'm wearing, you know, today is actually one of the smaller ones that I own, and it's still, you know, a sizable chunk there. Mm -hmm. So you're wearing from stainless steel too. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. is a, I've only got a couple other bands and I wear those, you know, pretty regularly, but you know, I don't have any of the NATO straps. Yeah. Um, which I, I did order a couple after wearing this around. Really? Mm -hmm. hey, and we the, got, the, we converted him to the, got some NATOs on the way. The, uh, the little sleek design, because this is a really, you know, like almost a miniature watch. It feels like to yeah. me and my giant paws. Sure. Um, I forgot I was wearing it flat out. So, so I'd be, you know, like walk around like, you know, like I'm driving in my, my truck or whatever and I'm, you know, like, Playing music and ba -da -ba 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 -ba, you know, drum solo. And I'm like, oh wait, yeah, I'm wearing a watch. Like, <laughs> let me take it easy. Yeah, maybe maybe not just slam on the door and <laughs> you smash, said, smash, smash. Man, you said the heritor had chips. Let's check this for a minute. Yep, yep, no, nope, 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 nope. I, I I already covered it up with shoe polish and <laughs> <laughs> it's like Bondo. You feel like, um, yeah, it's, it's so just true. a paper mache. It's not even a watch anymore. <laughs> it, it is a very uh, very lightweight mm -hmm. watch, which is it couple... can be good or bad, right? Yeah, like because you like you were saying, you like, forget you forget they're wearing a watch. Like, I know I'm wearing a watch when I've got, you know, the, the steel band and everything like that. Right. So I'm, I'm conscious of it. If I'm not conscious of it, then I can, you know, clumsily, you know, like mm -hmm. drunken bear my way through, you know, everything there is and smash into stuff. But yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't, I took good care of it. <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah. I got, I got several compliments on it. You know? Really? Yeah. So that was fun. You know? Okay. Yeah, right yeah, it was a little sporty. You know, I, like, what is that? Yeah. I, uh, I mixed and matched it with just, you know, like regular t-shirts and then, you know, suiting up a little bit and cool, put it man. on just to see, you know. That's great to hear. Yeah. Um, it, was, it, it was, it was neat. Well, I gotta say, so with your watch, mm -hmm. um, cause like I said, I, I wanted to give it some time on the bracelet and mm -hmm. I just, I was like, I, let, let me swap it out and see and kind of playing around. One thing I gotta say, the more that I looked at this watch mm -hmm. and got to really kind of appreciate it. The cross hatching mm -hmm. on the side that on the bezel, oh yeah, um, man, or the case, like it's just because I, I, I polished the heck out of this thing and it just works so well. Mm -hmm. And even though it doesn't have like a dive watch where there's a rotating bezel or anything, I think that size wise it looks really good with what they've done. And I gotta say, like when you get up close on this dial, the fact that there's this staggered pattern where the markers are applied but they're recessed. 
And then same with the date where it's like cut out specifically for these portions at three, six, nine, and 12. Just, I hadn't noticed it mm -hmm. till days I yeah. wearing it. The, and I'm like, wait, like. This is a deceptively complex. Like it's a little, it looks simple when you yeah. just it. And the thing I think I really like is I mentioned this before, the, the grooves around the mm -hmm. burst there that, that give the vinyl look, yeah. yeah. Like, it's so true. And I, and I would see it in different lighting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there they are. Yeah, like, like out in the full sun, you're just like, whoa, hey, look at all that stuff, you know. Like, really cool. And the loom was, was good, uh, decent loom. You know, doesn't make it through the night. No. But I'd say on average, you know, for, for watches. Yeah. And it piqued my interest so much because I liked it that I wanted to see how much you could buy these for on the used market mm -hmm. and on eBay, dude, some of these things are going for like two to 300 bucks still. Hey. And um, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> you definitely got a, a good deal because I think yeah. um, on the, the website, they're still like 300 and they're sold out anyway. Yeah. But there was one on eBay that was, uh, I think the bidding, it was pretty low. I want to say under 50. So I might try and snag it, but it was a white dial version. Oh, okay. But I figure, hey, maybe I'll pick one up and uh, maybe that's Maybe there are some other uh, options that I didn't even know about too. Yeah. Well. So solid watch, man. And of course, I'll put this back on the bracelet for you. Um, no, I'm still that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> put, put on this NATO strap for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. <laughs> It's a great watch. So thanks again for letting me experience it. And I'm glad to hear you enjoyed the Yeah, weekend. it was a lot of fun. We'll do it again. Um, okay, so I think uh, moving on now, yeah. the the part two of our our uh, continuation. <laughs> Iliad. You know, like, <laughs> our Iliad. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, yeah. If you guys missed it, make sure you check out the, and, and pause this video, go to the other episode where we spun the wheel. I don't know why you'd watch a sequel without the prequel, but you know, yeah. some people like to watch you the world around, burn and just uh, whatever. It's like Memento. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so check it out. Uh, we, talk about the, <laughs> we talk about the lotto wheel spin for mm -hmm. Watch Gang and it's arrived. Yep. And so here we are to unbox it yep. and kind of get some initial thoughts on it. Yep. So without further ado, Wells, let's see it. So if you uh, if you saw it, you know, we picked our uh, six watches or whatever it was. And you know, right. there are some real interesting ones, some real some real eye grabbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I talked to a couple people also that you know, had seen it and they're like, oh man, you got uh, the most boring, you know, watch the that least, was out of the, yeah. The, the least, uh, yeah, really like, wanted. oh, okay, well you gotta watch. You know, like that's kind of the general consensus I got. That's honestly how I felt. A little and bit. in the video I was like, yeah. damn, I, I really wish you'd have gotten something it, it, was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't just, it just was like, we had what the, uh, the one uh, Abalone one, you yeah. know, like there's some, there's just some really striking Sweet watches that we had there. Yeah. So that being said, when it showed up, I had to take a peek, of course, you know, and <laughs> I did, and I was a little blown away. So yeah. here it is. This is the Breed. Breed. This has very minimalist uh, boxing here. Just, you know, like some foam padding and a small box. Yeah, let's get let's that go on ahead and yeah, put ahead. this right there. Okay. So here is the watch with its little cards and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I pulled it out, to this level, it was wow! Like yeah. that's a little bit more than 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 I was expecting because it did not appear look at that, that red. Because yeah, that look is at that strap and the bezel. Mm -hmm. So and that is first off, that is a super thick leather strap. Like yes, it is. <laughs> that that bezel is really tight on there. Like okay, look at that. Yeah. You know, the dial face itself, I don't know if we can see it right yeah, here. Yeah, here, let me... Uh, we might need a little extra light or something, but you can see this. It's got like almost a... Um, like a... I don't even know what you call that. Concentric pattern. circles or like a fractal kind of pattern? Yeah. I, I don't really know. That's got... It's really interesting. There, there it is, yeah. Look at that pattern. Yeah, that's... Uh, what was it? The spin art back in the day? Where you're going... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I think, actually, I really do. This is, yeah. and that man, I, I know that the, the band is not, you know, the the heart and soul of the watch, but that is such a cool band, dude. It's like it's like burgundy wine red. Yeah, like um, it smells of rich mahogany. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like. All right, so the date is good and centered. Mm -hmm. It's a super tiny date uh, there, but like it's it, you can see it pretty clearly. Yeah. And it's centered well enough. It doesn't cut off anything. Um, but I think they did that so not to detract from the pattern itself. I think so too. It's one of those, um, I, you see watches like this, when they have the date, when you choose to put mm -hmm. a date, you're never going to please everyone. Right. And so as even this for me, my taste, 
I think they could have gone bigger. I think I think they could have gone without, honestly. Or, in, this, in this case, you know, not necessarily, good. you know, like I understand why I do, but that's a good point. That yeah. pattern is just so beautiful. Like, just don't even don't even mess with it. Yeah. So, man, check, check that out. So, you know, the hands are nice. I'm just gonna put it. I like the two. little. Uh, I like the brakes on the hands. You know, this is where it's a. Uh, uh, you know, split halfway with the loom. Mm -hmm. Like it just kind of, I mean, it's just an interesting little fla yeah. flavor, you know. It breaks it up there. a little with the loom there, yeah. Um, so they are, yeah, yeah, these are applied markers. Mm -hmm. They're faceted, so you're gonna get a lot of playing around with the light. Oh there. yeah. Um, you got that Cadillac uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> two-tone going on. It's true. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't look like there's loom on the markers, mm -hmm. um, but. They are super polished, so they'll pick up, you know, pick up any glint of light that there is. For sure. And you know, you can tell this isn't a uh, 50 meters water resistant. So it's not like a dive watch. It's not, you need to see the hour mm -hmm. markers underwater. I mean, who goes diving anyway? Um, let's get some measurements if, if you're cool with that. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> this, this, this thing is done. And wrap it up. Stick a fork in the kid, he's done. <laughs> All right, grab your, grab your uh, fancy nah, little. Nah, you had a chance. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at a 44, 45 millimeter diameter mm -hmm. with the crowns putting us right, and none of this is on camera by the way. <laughs> with the crown we're at 48, and then lug to lug height, 52. So uh, thickness is just under 14 millimeters. Okay. Um, the width of the band is 22 millimeters. So all, you know, when we look at the dimensions overall, mm -hmm. pretty, Pretty good, rounded out. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't go with like a 20 millimeter to where it looks too thin on the strap. Yeah. Um, so I think it's good. And then, you know, again, for you, 44 millimeters, perfect. Sweet spot. Yep. Um, in fact, I just kind of want to see my seven inch wrist. You know, that's like right almost at the, the length of my wrist. So if you're a fan of larger watches, you know, if you got a seven inch wrist, this is going to wear fine. I have to say, I'm, I'm way more impressed with this yeah. in person than, you know, it's it's just the, a cool looking watch. I think we were, we were talking about this earlier. Um, mm -hmm. The photography of a watch, especially with all the online buying, is so important that I feel like, you know, nothing particularly against that, but I don't think Bree did a good job of showcasing how nice this watch really is. I, I would have to agree. Uh, whereas some of the other ones that we had in there, like if, if you had seen, you know, all the details, really seen them, you'd been like, oh man, that's a contender. This As watch, it was, it was a, hey, there's something neat that I'll just throw in there for whatever, you know. This is a watch from afar. You see the color more mm -hmm. than you see the design. It instantly grabs you with that color, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, it's it's got the the pull, and then after that, yeah, oh, this is going to have to take some some play though to work. You have to work that strap. Work it, work it, work it. If you're on with the last, mm -hmm. last hold. <laughs> well, yeah. those freaking mammoth wrists. So I think taking a step back to your point about the pho photos, mm -hmm. um, with watches, it's such a good point that they're really deserving of videos I to think so. showcase all the, the angles up close, macro shots. And even then, it's still not gonna yeah. be the same as in person. You know, I, I've always wondered why, you know, you have your six or so, you know, slides that you can scroll through to, to look at the, the watch and it's different, you know, angles or whatever. I always wondered why, Hey, where's a picture of it outside? Mm -hmm. Just, just be, I know it's not going to get <clears throat> the true, you know, um, feel of it, but you could at least get like an idea of, okay, so in sunlight, it's going to look so different, than, different than under fluorescent, you know? That's so true. Sunlight, yeah. you, you can try to mimic it, but there's just something mm. about, no. it, it's, it, you just can't. And even with the picture, and I've, I've done, you know, some, extreme amateur photography. Mm -hmm. So I know that playing in the sun is really difficult as far as trying to get a good shot. Right. But at least, you know, like, hey, Something. hey, here's just a look of it out in, in natural light just to see. You yeah. Know? I'm going to do something. So I, I always do this. Every new watch I get, I hit it with my polishing cloths. Mm -hmm. I just pick these up. So this is a fresh one. Um, so just so you can kind of see with wells, because this is why I feel this is so important to do, but just kind of feel like feel the finishing mm. on this watch, especially the, the case bag, just everything, mm. and feel it, because it's like, it's fine, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. No. Yeah. Okay, and then watch. Well, that's me. a real, that's a slick, slick spot. They really helped hit the grinder on this one nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
And so then what I'll do is I'm going to just polish this out and you'll see like, here's the fresh kind of side. And, um, I like to work, especially like with the bezel. So you can already see how these polishing cloths and you know, I don't, it's not like I sell these out of my trunk or anything, but right. I highly recommend them. Unless, unless you're buying, then, <laughs> then make a deal. If you need a, <laughs> If you're having trouble getting access to some polishing cloths, I might know, always I, use that accent. I might know a guy. Every time I'm about to do some illegal activities, my accent changes. I don't know what's up with it's that. Still. You know, it'd be a shame for something to... It's always like a, a cartoony rat voice. Yeah. <laughs> you need protection. So I haven't really spent that long doing this with this watch. And I don't know if it's gonna show up on film or on the camera, but I swear that this is brighter. Mm -hmm. This the stainless steel just shines ever so slightly better. Yep. And when you feel it now, okay, be my guest. Oh, it feels like a like a like a handful of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something. <laughs> no, it is it is noticeably um, slicker. <laughs> it's like like I don't know why watch companies refuse to do this final finishing. But when every time I get a watch brand new, this is something that has to be done in my opinion. I feel like maybe they don't so that you have the pleasure of that <laughs> doing their work for them. <laughs> I don't think so, but let's go with I'm gonna you're on to something. Yeah, let's uh, like hey, let's let's let them uh we can you know, give them something. Pretend, yeah, pretend like they're yeah. in the factory and Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm in the hand yeah. the hand finishing phase yeah. of this watch's life. So I, I saw something that I was really uh, kind of curious about. Uh, okay. Skipping, skipping, tangenting off. Yeah. Uh, here. You know, I don't know if, if it's something that, that would be par course for the uh, the videos, but they have a, a make your own watch uh, kit. Like really? it's a skeleton watch. Like and it's you build it. Yeah. Like you, it, it gives you instructions. Like here's the gears. We pull them in the thing, and hopefully you don't you know lose anything. <laughs> <laughs> it ends up working, I guess. <laughs> so. I have a better idea with that. Okay. We buy the kit. Uh-huh. We buy three kits. Okay. And we mix all the parts together Ooh. and try to build Just, one without direction. Which one is it? Yeah, like, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like three different kits, though. Yes. So it's not just three clones. Yes. Three different watches. We mix all the parts and we see if we... How smart are you? Put me out of my misery. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no rest, no food until we build a watch. Uh, okay, Just locked in a black room. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Did you guys watch that live stream? A live of stream us of us going insane trying <laughs> to build, like... build a Franken watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just a corner. Hour number 36. <laughs> Haven't broken yet. <laughs> Vegas would have a really good board on, you know, who who is going to off the other one or, or yeah. you know. <laughs> that would be awesome. You know what? Let's make it happen. Let's right, give yeah. the people what they want. <laughs> so we definitely, you know, I think we pretty much hit all the yeah. points. You know, it's, it's a neat watch. I like it. It's neat. It's different. The color is just boom in your face. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this being the, the send off on uh, the whole watch game thing. And like I you know, said before, I might, yeah. I might join again, but sure. you know because what, there, some, there were some interesting ones that like I haven't found looking around online i haven't found some of the some of the styles that came in i'm mm. like wow that's really cool i'm really mm. happy with that there's Something obviously like homages similar. and stuff but yeah. yeah so i'm kind of excited to see where your collection goes next and mm -hmm. i know that my followers here yep. are also interested to see what you choose to do i'm a little interested myself so <laughs> <laughs> that's a start <laughs> yeah. we, sh we shall see <laughs> but overall i i really think your collection has given you a really good f first step yeah. forward and it's only going to get better from here mm -hmm. um i think I, it was awesome to see with the briston how the nato straps mm -hmm. it kind of yeah and it's and on you and it's that's truly that's the, the reason i picked that one although i knew one of yours was uh upcoming so that's why i, I gave it the little like hey look at this no, no, you know no, no, no. yeah <laughs> um but i truly wanted to try something that was so far out of my wheelhouse something that, that really wasn't like a norm yeah so i know that was a shocker pick you know for sure and yeah. and it ended up being because i was kind of curious because we haven't talked about our watches this whole time nope and so i was kind of curious like i wonder I wonder how he's enjoying that watch. Is it just yeah. sitting like, you know, thrown off to the side or is he actually wearing it and liking mm -hmm. it? Cause yeah. like this one, I would, you know, obviously I wouldn't wear this out to work or anything. Right. Um, cause it's not my watch, but I would like come home and I, like swap it on. Like, oh, okay. Like go out and do a few things, put it on. Um, just polishing it out. I, 
you know, like I said, did the review on it mm -hmm. and um, it was just a cool, it's just a cool watch. And I'm, I think if I can find the right deal on a black dial, I'll definitely snag one myself to yep. add to my collection too. So awesome, man. Well, as always, man, thanks for joining, yep. sharing a beer. Till next time. Till next time. And remember to uh, comment with uh, the, the open forum, Q&A. Mm -hmm. Q&A. Yeah. Any questions you have yeah. for Wells, any questions you have for me. Questions about life. You know, you want to yeah. get deep with some philosophy. Then, Advice. Mm, we'll, uh, we'll see what we got. You know. <laughs> we'll reach into our bag of tricks. <laughs> right? Like, you want to learn how to, you know, rebuild the, the transmission on a, you know, 68 Chevy, then sure, why not? Like, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we got. You know? <laughs> <laughs> As always, guys, please give a thumbs up for Wells. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this episode, of course, uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more episodes like this and hit the bell for notifications. Bing. As always, I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. May the shorts be with you. Take care.